Hi, this is part two of the Beginner's Guide to Programming Blitz 3D. Um, all I'm going to look at really in this session is how to load up an object that you've done in a 3D package or you may have bought off the internet or something uh, and then display that in Blitz 3D and move around, move the camera around so that you can look at the object from different angles. In the last tutorial and the first one, all we did there was really create a cube, spin it around and then look at other primitives quickly that you can make. So Without further ado, if I show you the object we're going to show in Blitz 3D, I use the Deled 3D Editor program here. There is a free version of this available, and it's a very quick and easy, low polygon um, 3D scene editor that you can use. It also supports light mapping as well, so if I just bring this window up bigger, you'll see here there's, there's proper shadowing in this scene. Um, and that's it. So this is the object we're going to load into Blitz. What we have is on this program there's a plugin called B3D Exporter and that's the Blitz 3D object format. That will export the object into my directory where I have my where I have my uh, tutor my Blitz tutorial code there. So it exports a B3D object which is a house and then has different folders which have different textures in them um, as well as the actual light map itself which is just what Blitz puts over the textures on the scene to make it look like it's lit up so if I go to my Blitz IDE I'm setting up my graphics mode, I'm loading my house object create my camera and I'm then starting the main loop so I'm taking a while key down, while not key down one which is the escape key so as long as I don't press the escape key it will keep looping so all it's doing is it's clearing the screen. If I use any of the cursor keys it will move the camera around and that's either moving entity forward or back which is my cam, the camera and left and right keys will use the turn entity, entity command to turn the camera on the Y axis by the 1 or minus 1. I then render the world, flip the buffers, end the main loop and then end the program. So if I run this program you'll see that I'm in the middle of the object I can use the cursor keys to move around the scene and that's it at the moment there's no collision detection so I can move through the object we'll come on to collision detection at another point but for now this is the basics of how to load an object in Blitz 3D and display it Okay, uh, I'm going to put some comments on the video information, just asking a few questions about where people want this to go next, um, as well as something on my blog as well. Uh, you should try reading my blog as well, which is coffeeinduced.wordpress.com. Okay, I'll see you again soon. I should have some spare time to make another tutorial soon. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Okay, cheers, bye.